All right. Let's march on. So, again, in terms of other deals, Mac Jones is our quarterback now. No denying. Running back-wise, I'm cool with the idea of keeping Kareem Hunt. I don't want to sign him and immediately flip him. All right, that's kind of cheap. We made our bed. Let's go ahead. Yeah, now they need a tight end. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna keep we're gonna keep Hunt. We are. We just are. We signed him. I don't like signing players and immediately flipping them. We didn't just sign the quarterback. I don't know if we have the value anywhere else. I mean. I, I like the idea of Henry and Pitts as a one-two punch. That's absurd. We definitely, he was great in the Super Bowl. Could have won Super Bowl MVP. We need to dump that $14 million of John U. Smith. There's no denying. Uh, and Atlanta could be the place. You could argue maybe I should have just added John U. Smith to the trade and gone for their first. And now that I think about it, that would have been a good move. Um, I don't know why John U. has that cap hit, but he does. Um, let me see. If there's anybody else that I want to dump, I don't want to give up my first round picks to go out and get players that are already good, right? Like I want to build through the draft primarily here because it's so much cheaper. Yes, there are players, and we're keeping Dante Hightower. He was Super Bowl MVP. I'll pay him $50 million against the cap if he wants. Um, for the most part, we're good. We still have to move a safety though. And again, I still think that it's, um, that it's Kyle that gets moved, so. Uh, we will add Duger to the list of uh, positions that we're going to scout out for here. Aside from that, I think we're good. Like I said, I know that like Bosa's still out there, and if I really wanted to, could I get Bosa? Sure. But think of the value here instead of having Bosa. You could say Bosa's worth it. I might not disagree. But general team improvements are one superstar is kind of what we're looking at. So it, it's an interesting spot that we find ourselves in. And not to mention, general improvements plus cash versus Bosa taking up more of the salary. You know? Move Duggar to linebacker. Uh, I really, I have other linebackers though. That's the problem. We have Koromoa, who's younger. We have Uche, who's younger. So honestly, like linebacker wise, we're looking okay. Dalton has a decent dev pattern and there are some good linebackers. I bet you could do the eighth and the 32nd for Bosa. You might not be wrong. So really quickly, let's go back to the top. Well, yeah, so that's the thing. We're not going to make all of those draft picks, but we can trade down and get steals. It's the same thing that we did last year. Uh, so the Bears are in need of both players. Let me add both players uh, to the list here. And it glitched again. That needs to be fixed immediately. Immediately. Manage roster. Trade center. Let's see what we got. So, again... Uh, tight end, not Pitts, but Jonu Smith, and Kyle Duggar. I don't disagree that we can move Kyle to another spot, but, eh. Like, I'm happy with what we have. Uche would be a eh, somewhat undersized edge. I think we're okay. Again, Harrison and Spillman need to play. I can't say for certainty. I mean, we could move Duggar over, but for the most part, we're fine to move on. How interested are the Bears? All right, so Chicago uh, is an option for both. And, of course, we could look to pair them together, which is great. Is there another? So right now, we're going to look for another team that needs both. Um, to try and maximize the value. The Bills don't work. We need another team that needs a tight end. Falcons might be the next one. That pops up. Dallas. They also need a safety. All right, so we're looking at Chicago. We're looking at Dallas. As two teams to try and dump a crap load of salary. We're looking at Atlanta for uh, John U. Smith, of course. Not so much for Duggar. Niners. The Niners do need a safety. Interesting. Interesting. You know what? Let me go back really quickly. Because I, I was looking at teams that needed both. And um, I should still look for teams that just need one or the other. And in fairness, actually, I don't really think there was anybody. There wasn't. Cool. Our football team needs a safety. Technically, uh, 
not the proper side, but we might still be able to get it work to work. Uh, the Jags. The Jags need both as well. I don't know if they have anybody that I'd want outside of like Miles Jack. Which again, Miles Jack has been incredible in franchise over the last couple years. The New York Jets. Not that I want to send more former players to the Jets, but they might have somebody that we want. You never know. Uh, the Packers need a safety. Let's see, what else do we got here? Rams need a tight end. Uh, the Saints also need a tight end. They don't need both, though. And again, I still don't know if we're going to split these two up or trade them together. It depends on our options. Uh, the Titans also need a tight end. And the Vikings need a safety. Okay, so really quickly, let me do a green check here. So the Vikings are good. The Packers are not going to work out for Duggar. What about the Jets? The Jets would work. Jags would work. Niners do not work for Smith, but that's not surprising. We didn't have them on the list. Washington football team, they work out. Cowboys work, and then obviously we knew that Chicago worked. Which leaves us with the Falcons being interested in Smith. The Jags and the Jets want him. Uh, the Rams are out for Jonu Smith. Okay, we're trying to maximize as much value as we can. The Saints work. And the Titans work. Okay. So Chicago was the first team that both uh, you know, that the, were interested in both players. Roquan Smith is there. Uh, certainly not a bad option. Hello, Frank. How are you? So we have Roquan Smith at linebacker. He is basically the only guy that I'd want is Roquan Smith from Chicago. So it would be Roquan Smith and draft picks. Dallas was the second team. Chicago has Caprum. Dallas has very little. Zeke at 28, not that much better than Hunt. The Cowboys have C.D. Lamb. Star development. So we could work on acquiring C.D. Lamb. $1,000 poor, Frank, that's unfortunate. The Micah Parsons is there as star dev. They just took it off of EA Play. That doesn't surprise me. So Lambs, Parsons at linebacker. CD is not enough cap. I think it would work, though. They have 590 in cap space. Actually, yeah, shit, you're right. It would be way over. You're right. So yeah, the Cowboys are out. I was overthinking it because I got caught up in the chat. Pause it for a new car. Hey, that's not too bad, Frank, at least. Uh, the Jags and the Jets are the other two teams. James Robinson could end up being better than Kareem. Not that I want to immediately flip Kareem, though. And then Miles Jack is 27. Shaquille Griffin, and he's 28. Josh Allen. Trevor Lawrence. Not that we need him. <laughs> um... And yes, in this reality, Mac Jones is higher rated than Trevor Lawrence in terms of X Factor. Suck it. Um, I mean, the Jags aren't that bad in terms of options. If we didn't have Hunt, we could go for Robinson. Is Miles Jack at 27 worth it? I mean, maybe. I mean, Smith, though, was younger, was he not? Yeah, Smith is younger, so we'd probably go in that direction. Uh, Smith is younger than Josh Allen, too, isn't he? Am I doing the draft tonight? Yes. Just might take us a bit to get there. Roquan Smith is the same age at 26. So I like the Bears option better. How realistic are you doing with trades and such? Ah, not very. I mean, I'm not going out and acquiring all the best players, but I mean, hey, if there's a trade to be made, we're making it. Um, so we're going to rule out Jacksonville. What do the Jets have? It's my way, too, of testing trade value to see if they fixed it at all. Spoiler alert, they haven't. Quinn and Williams is only star dev. We'd be looking at Roquan Smith or Quinn and Williams. Becton. Becton's not bad either. 
could make the argument from the Jets of Williams and Becton, whereas for Chicago, it would um, just be Roquan Smith, which is uh, interesting. And then that was the last team we could trade both to. So the Falcons are interested in the tight end. They don't have anybody else that I want. It would be draft picks. They had the 25th pick. So, that's that's a tough one. Atlanta would just be draft picks. I think we'd rather get more of a guarantee in that situation. Instead of picking up another draft pick. So, I'm going to actually rule Atlanta out. Uh, the Saints, also interested in John o. Smith. Didn't have anybody that I was really interested in. Lattimore at 27. Gardner Johnson at 25. You could argue move the linebacker, but we really don't need him at safety. You could argue he's an improvement. But then we'd have to trade Duggar and probably our other safety as well. And that's just too many moving parts. My opinion at least. Uh, I'm gonna rule out I'm gonna rule out the Saints. And then the Titans, I don't recall them having anybody that I was seriously considering. I mean, A.J. Brown, Star Dev. Oh, paired with Smith, to get, or paired to get Smith or Williams and Becton or A.J. Brown. It's a really heavy receiver core. I think I'm going to rule out the Titans. For Duggar, Washington football team. We need to see if we have the ability to get Bosa or McLaurin. Maybe even Justin Jefferson. If not, we work out a deal with either Chicago or New York. So, we would not be doing our due diligence if we did not try this. How close is this trade? <laughs> yeah, the Bosa deal is not going to happen. Um, we would have to give up a lot. Because um, we don't have the quarterback to offer anymore. I mean, you could argue the 8th overall pick would be worth it. What about the 32nd? How close does that get us? Yeah, Bosa wouldn't happen. It's too much. Uh, and in terms of who else the Niners have that I want, if we can't get Bosa, the answer is basically nobody. So we're out with the uh, 49ers. Washington football team for Mr. McLaurin. How close are we? He is a four-star as well. This might be possible. And obviously, I'd rather have him than Jefferson. Oh, Rudy. Rudy was the value, for sure. Rudy was the value over Kyle. Yeah, McLaurin's probably... I think I think we, I think we know we have to pair Smith and Duggar together. Which means there are two trades that we can approach here. It is either... Sending them to a division rival in the form of the New York Jets for a combination, if not one or the other, of Quinn and Williams and Becton. Or we make a deal with the Chicago Bears and we bring in Roquan Smith. And I think having Smith as a middle linebacker would be outstanding. Plus, I really don't want to help the Jets. So how close is this deal? Because we know we have draft picks. Yeah, everyone's saying the Bears. Fair enough. Like, take out the third. Roquan might be too much. He might be too much. We might be looking at draft picks. Or looking at sending them to the Jets. Pairing them together didn't give me the value that oh, I wanted. We got to work out you. this deal. Son, thank you for the follow. We got to work out this deal with the Jets. We got to do it. I hate to say it. I don't hate the idea of getting Becton. I just want to see how close this is. It's not going to be all that close. Get there. Use the higher pick. I don't think so. I can try again, but I genuinely don't think we have what it takes to pull off that deal with the Bears. Don't fall into the Jets' trap. Look, I appreciate... Socks, I appreciate the optimism, but... What if I use the 17th?
Well, Sox was right. The jump from 32 to 17 is absolutely outrageous. If we use Duggar, Smith, and the 12th overall pick, we can get Roquan Smith and more back. What about a second and a third? What about the second? It'll be a third. Kyle Duggar, John U. Smith, and the 12th overall pick to Chicago for Roquan Smith, the 83rd overall pick in the 211th. Fucking hell. <laughs> well, I did not think that we would be picking up Roquan Smith and Kyle Pitts before making a single draft pick, but that is what we've done. That is what we've done. Listen to Sox, apparently. Again, we're not going to flip Kareem Hunt. We will accept our fate there. Uh, we have now Kyle Pitts and Hunter Henry at tight end, which is a joke. Might still look at drafting some offensive linemen. It's now Roquan Smith and Donta Hightower in the middle. And then again, now we have Harrison and Spillman at safety. Spillman has superstar dev. So we're good. We can now look at our draft picks and see what we have. Again, I don't think that there was anybody that I was overly worried about having the draft. So we're going to let these picks go through. And then, of course, we'll trade down along the way. Full Belichick style. We had an incredible draft last year with at least five star dev talents. So trust the process here. We will see who the Vegas Raiders take first overall when the white screen of doom disappears. And we'll go all the way up to the eighth overall pick. So the Raiders at number one selected. Who did they pick? White screen of doom. Holy shit. Please God. They took Noel, 75 left end. He was on our board. The Giants at two take... Right guard, 70 overall, Craig Lucas. And the Jags at three? Well, we'll find out in a minute now, won't we? Wow. So those first two picks are rough. Evan Noel goes one. I'll be intrigued to see that dev pattern. The Giants and the uh, Raiders appear to have missed. We'll see who went third. Like I said, I'm not worried about trading up at all. Uh, I agree with Pyro, though. We might have to be a little bit concerned about the quality of the draft. That could be a huge issue. In which case, getting rid of the 12th could be good. Warren Peters, 70 right guard. I think he was on our board. The Lions at four take 81 safety. Javonta Cameron out of Ohio State. And the Browns at five will find out. So the Lions... The Lions hit gold there. Taking that safety. Good lord. Yeah, the, the screen is brutal. The screen is brutal. So yeah, maybe there's hope for the draft class after all. Jesus. Let's see who got taken fifth. And then you got the Jets. Of course, we're up at eight. Then we don't have another pick until, what, 17th? After getting rid of the 12th? Oh, there's no way to change the camera either. Uh, McClellan, linebacker, 76 overall to the Browns. The Jets take Powell, 74 quarterback. And the Vikings at seven take Landry, 77 defensive end. So there have been some good players, no doubt. Let's see who's left. So quarterback, if we take one to back up Mac Jones, it'll be Devin Mooney or Addison Slater. And indeed, Tom Brady retired. I've already shed my tears, I promise. Dude, Devin Mooney might be just like Rudolph. He's going to have a cannon of an arm. The quarterback controversy might not be over. Running back-wise, we're definitely not taking anybody right now. Wide receiver. We're going to hope that J.D. Cherry falls to a later round. The only guy we have to be concerned about eighth overall would be Andrew Galindo. I don't trust him. He's 5'8". He does have good jumping at 5'8", but he's not the fastest. I don't think we can risk taking Galindo here. I don't think we can. In terms of anybody else that we'd select early on in the first round, there is Chase Goldman, who is projected to be an early first rounder. We do need a defensive edge. Actually, he's projected to be mid. I like him quite a bit. Early first round talent, mid first round projection. 
and then Cole Hughes, mid first round projected, late first round talent. So I think we could get one of these two. Hughes doesn't have the agility, but he has the speed and the strength. And then on the right hand side, there's Harper, early, ooh, early first round projection. He's 23. Is he worth taking right now? Is the question. And then there's also Austin Morris. Not as convinced with him. And then there's Jason McKay. Who's also alright. If we are 100% convinced that Floyd Harper is the way to go, then we take him. But if we're confident that Goldman or Hughes could be decent, we hold off. Defensive tackle. Wouldn't take any of them right now, 8th overall. Middle linebacker, you do have Dakota Quigley. Don't think we'd have to take him right now. And obviously we did just get a linebacker. Uh, Terrell Wall. Wouldn't take him right now. We don't need a corner. I wouldn't take Bellamy. Bernard. I wouldn't take him 8th overall either. So, the choice is obvious. If we make the pick, it's Floyd Harper. Let's see what offer we can get to trade down and see if it's worth it, because I do think there are still some good defensive ends in this draft. Two first round picks from Cincinnati. One this year, one next year. Two first round picks and a third from Houston. I think we do that Houston trade. I think we have a still a decent chance. Baltimore's offering the 27th. Houston's offering the 21st. So if we're 100% convinced that that defensive end's the guy, we take him. If not, we take two first round picks and a third and draft one of them. Two first and a second from Philadelphia. Woo! I think we have to take that Philly pick. I actually would take Kansas City's. Theirs is a bit better. Two firsts and a second. 29th pick. For, okay, so from Arizona. Two firsts and a third. We drop. But there are still some good defensive ends available. I think we take the trade. I wasn't 100% convinced by that defensive end. There's a chance he's going to be great. But do we risk it with him? Or do we get all of this and another defensive end later? I think we got to take that return. I'm taking that Arizona deal. That's too good to pass up. And we still have all the assets in the world to trade up. So a done deal with the Cardinals. I think it had to be done. I just, looking at the board, I just wasn't 100% set that he was the guy. So right now our first pick after trading uh, our first highest two picks, 8th and 12th, is projected to be 17th. We'll keep an eye on the board if players that we like start to leave. So again, I want to see the overall from here. That's why I'm waiting. So the Cardinals at 8 took Olsen, 70 left tackle. The Dolphins at 9 take Harper, 76. We'll have to wait to see his dev pattern. He goes to Miami. The question is, how good is that dev pattern? 76 isn't bad, but is it star? Is it worse? If it's not hidden and it's normal dev, then we dodged a bullet. We'll find out. 76 is a pretty high overall. Uh, Sniper, it comes out in about a month. All right, the Bills at 10. We'll see who they take here. They select left end Cole Hughes, someone else we were looking at. He's a 74. Seahawks at 11. Take Quigley, 75 linebacker out of Bama. And we'll see who the Bears take on the other side. So we have a couple of the players that we like going off the board. It's a good thing we got Roquan Smith because uh, relying on Quigley might not have worked. So, oh, the whites are. Goodness, goodness, goodness. All right. Who was selected? I know. The eyes. Look at how bright I am. It's great. My lighting looks so much better. Denny, 72 linebacker. The Colts at 13. 
Goldman, 76, Edge. So Goldman was good too, as expected. Who is left from our looks on defensive end? We still have Morris and we still have McKay. The question is, does McKay fall to us at 17? Otherwise, we may have uh, we may have botched it, but there are defensive tackles we could still get that could be half decent. So I'm gonna wait it out. McKay is the better of the ones that are left, but we still have options. The Chargers at 14. Take Bellamy, 75 corner. We botched it. Eh, I wouldn't play it so fast. People thought we botched it last year, and then again, we had a phenomenal draft. Do you forget the quarterback that we just traded for Kyle Pitts? Plus, you know, have some faith. Have some faith. We're going to be all right. As it is, it's not as if we have nobody at defensive end. We have our, one of our first round picks from last year. So. Oh, God, the screen. Jesus. The Dolphins at 15. Take 74 receiver Allen. And the Lions at 16. Take 74 corner Griffith. So. Yeah, I was going to say, I just got Kyle Pitts and Roquan Smith. So. Uh, so indeed, one of the defensive ends is there. It's either Austin Morris has the speed and agility, but I don't like the lack of strength. Or Jason McKay, who has the speed, the agility, the strength. What about LaShawn Stanton? I know he's projected to go later. Yeah, I don't think we can rely on that to be good. And then Perryman... Yeah. Our next pick after this is 29th, so we might have to trade up. Let's see. 4-8. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, someone like Eric Feliz would be a little bit too slow to put on the edge. That's the problem. He'd be a little bit too slow to put on the edge. The question is, do we have a defensive tackle now that could be moved to the edge because we could rely on Feliz? Like I said, Feliz is probably too slow to put on the edge. It's either Barmore or Steel. If Barmore could be moved to the edge, 73 speed. 81 acceleration for Barmore, though. It could be worth the risk putting Barmore. He's got swim move, bull rush. Only 66 agility, though. I think Barmore is probably too slow to put on the edge. So as much as I want that defensive tackle, it's not what we need. And right now we are facing the reality of uh, we need another edge rusher. So, we have to uh, play the hand that we were dealt here. Let's see if two first-round picks and, what, a second? Two firsts, a second, and the edge rusher in Jason McKay is worth missing out on those other two options. We will take Jason McKay. Yes, 75, hidden dev. He's at least a star. We'll take that. So we get Jason McKay, two first and a second, instead of one of the other two. I'll take that. I will absolutely take that. That was worth it. That was worth it. Let's get a look at these attributes. 86 acceleration and strength. 84 hit power. Not bad. Not bad at all. So technically it was a reach. Um, we got him at 17. He was 19th in terms of overall. Pretty much it wasn't a reach at that point. And I do believe he's a star. Actually, I don't remember. What was the cross-arm pose? It wasn't X-Factor. Was no, the, the X-Factor was the double flex. I'm pretty sure that's Superstar. But then again, they said they changed it. Because it used to be... If I'm not mistaken, wasn't it the flex was star? The cross-armed was Superstar. The double flex was X-Factor. But 
They did say that they changed it. Regardless, that worked out tremendously for us. Absolutely fantastic pick. Now, we have to be careful in terms of potentially trading up. Because, wide receivers. Harper should go late in the first. We're hoping Galindo's the first one off the board. We have to walk away with Harper or Jaden Farr. Bare minimum. One of these two. We want Harper because he's fast as fuck. But hopefully if he, if he goes, we can get Jaden Farr. They are the next target, no doubt. Wide receiver is the next target. We have the 29th and the 32nd pick. We have a crap ton of seconds. Hello, Coco, by the way. How are you? I would love to also get either Feliz or Goldsberry. Both are fantastic. Like, both are fantastic. Oh, good like, again, Feliz has you. the 42 reps. Squilliam! Thank you for the follow. He has the speed. He has the reps. He's a little bit slow in terms of agility compared to Goldsberry, who is a monster. So as long as we get one of these two defensive tackles, we're laughing to the bank. And then Terrell Wall is technically there, but I'm not sold on him. And then corners... I mean, Bernard is sick, but we don't need corners. Like, Otis Bernard is sick. He'd be a better safety, though, at that height. But Pryor, as well, looks really good. So the, tar the problem is we don't need help in the secondary, but there are some very good options. So, no doubt, it's wide receiver and defensive tackle that we're targeting here. So, if Harper goes off the board, we take Farr. If Farr goes off the board, we take Harper. Defensive tackle. If Feliz goes off the board, we trade up and get Goldsberry. Vice versa. We're going to let the game decide for us. We'll leave it up to chance. And hopefully not have to look at the white screen. Running a 4-3 or a 3-4. It depends on how this team shapes up, because we've made a lot of trades. So, very much depends on how the team pans out. Um, ready for the white screen? Ah, oh, I'm blinded. So, let's see who the Panthers take at 18. The Bears are on the clock. Oh my god, the screen. Come on. Come on. They took Morris, 74. Bears at 19. Take Cook, 73 corner. Saints at 20 take 74 corner Jerron Cooper. So, our wide receivers and defensive tackles are still there. We don't have to trade up to get them, and as a result, we don't have to dish out as much bonus money. That's the big thing. Getting good players, very good players, while not having to pay them a crap load of money. That's our strategy with trading down, and we get to do this year in and year out. It's beautiful. Oh, God. It's brutal. Look at the lighting difference when I turned off my uh, monitor. It's brutal. Uh, so again, Cooper is off the board. Why isn't my monitor turning on? The Texans took Otis Bernard at corner. 76 rated. Motherfucker, I only got one pick in there. So that Bernard corner ended up being great like we knew he would be, but he couldn't be our top target. Oh, this white screen nonsense has to go. My God, if that isn't a day one fix. It should have been, it should have been fixed now. Hey, you know how you pre-ordered the game? LOL, LOL, LOL. Enjoy a white screen. Fuck. Oh, we're the Rays A's of the NFL. Kind of. All right, let's see. Football team takes Donovan Moon, 73 edge. Broncos at oh, 23 God, take Harvey, 73 edge. And the Steelers at 24 take Brooks, 72 defensive tackle. Thank you, Leonidas, for the follow. So Brooks is off the board. Was he one of the ones we were looking at? I don't remember. I think it was Feliz and Brooks, wasn't it? No, it was Goldberry. Jesus, so Brooks didn't even go. This is perfect. This is perfect. This draft is just falling into place for me. Oh, Atlanta, you poor bastards. You poor bastards. So we're coming up at pick 29, and we are guaranteed gold at this point. Goldberry, perhaps. Uh, let's see. The Falcons at 25 take Terrell Wall, 76 linebacker. The Cowboys at 26 take Harris, 72 corner. And the Ravens at 27, mystery. <laughs> we would get through this so much faster if we didn't have to wait for the white screen to disappear. It's unbelievable. 
It is unbelievable. Jesus. Alright, we're one pick away, and then we get two picks out of the next four. So we'll see if the Bengals try to ruin it, but we're going to get a wide out, and we're going to get a defensive tackle. It looks like we're going to get our choice, unless the Bengals take that wide out, which they might. Oh, Feliz is gone! The Ravens took him, 77 rated. The Ravens just snatched him away. Okay, well, we know what we have to do now. We know what we have to do now. We know what's coming. Fuck you, Baltimore! If you're dumb enough to buy a new car this weekend, you're a big enough schmuck to come to Big Bill Hell's car! Bad deal! Fuck you, Baltimore. Well, I can't risk that other defensive tackle going off the board. So we need to make that trade with Cincy, and we'll hope that our, our patience method worked out, and that we still get somebody decent. But that was always a risk. So the 28th overall pick. Uh, they... They do need linebackers. Are you interested in Anthony Jennings? Are you interested in Terrell Winslow? Played with Faye. I mean, that's, that was the plan, though. I was hoping he wouldn't get picked, but hey, it is what it is. And are you interested in Bobby Bush? Hey, interest in Jennings and Winslow. Will this go through? No. Eh. Uh, uh, might as well just keep our depth. All right. Traffic wise. What about a late second? How close? We'll give up some mid-round picks because I'm sure we're going to trade again. Second and a third. And to be honest, let's go back and uh, give up Anthony Jennings' contract. Oh, you got to be joking me. All right, let's give him a slightly higher third. But we can use Jennings to close the deal, which is good. So pick number 93 of the third round. Done deal with Cincy. We trade up instead of trading down, and we will take the other defensive tackle here after Eric Feliz was selected by Baltimore. And that defensive tackle is the one and the only Reggie Goldsberry, who again, slightly worse on the bench, but much better agility. Early first round talent it claims. Reg. And that is why you trade down if you have multiple options. Because not only do we get all those picks from before, but we still end up with Reggie Goldsberry. And again, if the old, if the old system is true, he's an X-Factor. Prior games, double flex men X-Factor. We'll see if that holds true. If Reggie Goldsberry is an X-Factor, I'm the greatest franchise player alive. <laughs> 92 strength out of the gates. 86 acceleration. He is just a physical specimen. Woo! Big Reg, 76. Now, we have another pick. We have two wideouts that we really want. Luck, not luck. Skill. I do this year in and year out. I did it last year as well. No luck involved, sir. I mean, a little bit of luck involved that he's still good, but it's percentages. <sighs> I feel like I should just take the wide receiver. You know? Instead of risking it, I feel like we should just take the guy that we want at wide receiver. You know, in terms of guys that are projected, Jeremiah Harper is so fast. It would only be our third first round pick. We technically have another guy available too. There's nobody else on the fringe aside from those wide receivers and Leonard Pryor. Actually, the safeties as well. As much as I'd want to wait, we really wouldn't save that much money. I want Jeremiah Harper. He's 5'8", 21 years old, ran a 4'2", 9". Mid first round town, it says. Let's go, baby. 75, 18th and true talent. We get him at 29. 
What's the speed? 96 with 93 acceleration, 92 agility, aggressive catch, 86 spectacular catch. He can't run routes for shit, but Jeremiah Harper. 95 change of direction as well. So again, if he doesn't develop as like an actual deep threat and can't speed past the secondary, he is the most elite slot receiver you could possibly have. Jeremiah Harper. We identified him as a good talent, and he was just that. We have another pick coming up here. We won't move up. I did see the 80 injuries as well, which is a bit scary. But I'm very excited for that player. Kansas City, Philadelphia up next. You can run three routes. Go route, go route, go route, right? We'll see who Kansas City takes. They take Rodgers, 73 corner, and the Eagles select Riddick, 72 defensive tackle. So our next pick after this would be the seventh pick of round number two. Is there anybody that is just a slam dunk? Quarterback-wise, we don't need to take a QB. I do like the looks of this guy. It's early second round talent, though. It looks like he has a cannon of an arm. We have more pressing matters. Now could be the time. It's a little bit too early to take Duvall. And again, we don't really need a running back, so we'd wait for him to fall. There is the other wide receiver in Jaden Farr. But I'm not as certain. It's mid first round talent. He's fast, he's got decent jumping, good agility, the strength leaves a bit. I'm not entirely sold because we do have other good first rounders. Aside from that, the only other guy to consider taking right now is Leonard Pryor. Late first round talent, very well-rounded corner. I don't know if there's anybody here that I'm dead set on taking. The fact that Galindo's still on the board is concerning, too. If he keeps falling, it could be interesting. I mean, again, mid-first round talent. He's not bad. So there are a couple of receivers that I still like. And again, Jaden Farr was the backup plan because of the speed, but we got our guy. I think we're going to trade down. There's, there's nobody, I think, that is a must-take now. Otherwise, it's a mistake. I'm not afraid to trade down here and still stock up second-round picks. Because, again, it's the seventh pick of the second round is our next one. Uh, two, three, six, two, four, five. First round pick from Cleveland next year. First and a fourth right now is the going rate. First, ooh, one, five, seven. One, five, seven from Tennessee. Can anybody beat that? I think we're taking that. One, three, seven from Philadelphia. We'd be incredibly dumb. Not one, three, six from Kansas City. Done deal. We'll trade a late first for another first, third, and six. Done deal with Kansas City. So, we'll see who the Chiefs take here with the final pick of the first round. They took Barker, a 73 defensive tackle. And the Raiders, with the first pick of round two, take Mooney, that quarterback, 73 overall. So what we're going to do, it's the second round. Let's just sim to our picks and see who's available so we can get through this in a somewhat timely manner. And hopefully certain players are still on the board. So we will advance to our next pick. We're, you know, we're taking a risk doing that in the second round when there's still so many players that I like, but this white screen is giving me a fucking headache. Uh, and Jaden Farr is still available. So, round number two. If we take a quarterback, it'll be Slater at the end. No running back here. Wide receiver. We have Farr, we have Grissom, we have Owens, who I would consider taking in the early second. J.D. Cherry is an interesting one because of the bench. There was the thought of we could move him to tight end. Is he worth the risk? No, because now we have Pitts. Like, no doubt J.D. Cherry could probably be a good tight end, but I'm not going to risk it. We're going to take him off the board. So there's Jaden Farr. 
Again, good speed, agility, like pretty well rounded. Jose Grissom at 6'4. 39 and a half inch vert at 21 years old. He's strong, he's not that slow, and he can jump while being tall. And then there's also Raphael Owens, who is another fast, agile, small boy. So any of those three, I'm happy. Uh, one of the tight, the tight end we were looking at's gone. Anthony Geddes on the O-line. Looks like we could get him a little bit later. But man, he's a beast. Is there anybody else on the O-line that we were heavily considering? Cameron Todd. Also a bit of a beast. I think Geddes might be a little bit better. Geddes looks pretty damn good. There are two linemen that I like a lot, but the problem is, again, I'm not doing... I don't know if I want to go pick by pick. Griggs we could get later on if we wanted him. And we have guys that are on the board that I'm waiting to see if they fall. Both safeties are still there. Jalen Cook. Fastest safety in the draft. Can jump. Very agile, very strong, mid-first round projection. And Ronnie Nance had an early first round talent evaluation at 23. Fuck. So there's two safeties I want, there's two linemen I want, and some wide receivers I want. I think you know where I'm going with this. It's interesting that Nance has the higher talent evaluation, but that Jalen Cook has the combine stats. I mean, he's not fast, but he is a safety. What'd you do in the playoffs? We won the Super Bowl. We beat the Eagles. It's like 24 to three. There's a bunch of players I still want. We have the 10th pick up next. I think we can trade down. We have pick number 10 coming up. We can trade this one away if there's a good offer. Otherwise, we're just going to go for it. Uh, second, third, seventh. So two, three, seven. A first round pick from Cleveland. No doubt. First and a seventh from Tennessee. No doubt we trade this pick for a first down the road. No doubt. You see a first round pick offered, you go for it. First and a fourth from Philadelphia. Philly is damn well determined to help me out. We're going to take that. No doubt in my mind. We'll take Philly's first round pick down the road, and we'll move down three spots to do so. Uh, the Eagles take Stark, 73 corner. Packers take Cook, 75 safety, one of the safeties we were looking at. So one of the safeties we were looking at is gone. He was only a 75. If the Dolphins don't take a safety here or the other safety I wanted... Uh, we'll take him. Socks, did you not see the name Tony Starks earlier? Beautiful name. We had Jack Bauer. We had Tony Starks. Oh, this white screen. Oh, my God, EA. Please fix this. I just need to see who the hell the Dolphins picked. Fuck. All right. And Miami takes Geddes. All right, so one of the... Uh, that was one of the old linemen I wanted, right? By MVP edition, can I play it right now? Yes, you can. I believe so. Fuck. Is it? If you get... Yeah, if you buy... it, Even if you didn't pre-order it, if you buy that edition, it should say that, yeah, you're good to go. It should say on the store when you go to buy it what the date is that it would unlock for you. It says so on Xbox. PlayStation, I'm not as certain. So we have our wideouts that are still there. Geddes was that old lineman I was interested in. So, Cameron Todd is the pick here if we're going to take an O lineman. And Peterson's a middle linebacker. Unfortunately, that other safety is gone here, too. So, we might have to trade up. I'm going to value the O lineman over the safety. Let's take Cameron Todd out of Clemson. Looks like he could be a beast. I'm telling you, treat every draft like your Bill Belichick, and you will succeed. 
His overall is a bit lower. 61st in true value. We got him at 42. 71 overall, hidden dev lineman. Crushing this draft. Crushing it. 90 strength. Everything else close to the 70s. Run block lead block, not great. But he is a guard. Welcome aboard, Cameron Todd. That's a great pick. And uh, our next pick is 17th. I want to make that deal with the Seahawks. I want that safety. Let's trade up. Let's trade up. Go back to back picks here. Seattle. What do you got for us? A 43rd overall pick. Uh, they do need help on the O line. Any interest in Justin Heron? Frank Richardson? Or some dude named Olsen? No. It's worth a shot. Uh, they also want some defensive help. Any interest in Winslow? No. Alright, again, let's go ahead and work out this deal. I'm going to try to use thirds to uh, get it done. Might have to do a little bit more. Just a bit. Two thirds for a second. Go two thirds and a fourth. Oh, Seattle. I don't know if that was the same pick I just offered. All right, we got to give up better than the 96th. Give up the 83rd. So two thirds and a fourth to move up. Done deal with Seattle, and we'll take that safety. Again, we don't exactly need a safety, but there is a chance this guy could be a steal and a half. And we're still on guard to trade up for one of the wide receivers. So Ronnie Nance. Ronnie, how good are you? We are destroying this draft. Absolutely crushing it. Hit after hit after hit. Like Donta Hightower in the Super Bowl. Oh my god. 89 speed at six foot three. 89 speed at 6-3. We are destroying this draft. Sixth in true value. We got him 43rd. Absolutely destroying this draft. My goodness. Let's risk it. Maybe. Oh, I, I want the fucking white screen to disappear so I can just go pick by pick. Because if one of those receivers goes off the board, I want to trade up. Fuck it, let's risk it. Let's just risk it. I hate this. Disappear, come on. Ugh, I hate this. It's so blinding. Headache inducing. <sighs> Please? Alright, Titans, take. Woods, 71 receiver. Colts, take. Grissom, 73 receiver. Rams, take. Southward, a safety. Two picks away. Two picks away. Looks like someone's staying on the bench. Maybe not. Could go younger. Develop our guys. Our situation is constantly changing. Like the idea of what this team is going to be constantly changes. Constantly. All depends on how the draft goes. What the depth looks like. Fucking white screen. Thank you. Niners take Cumberland, 69 tackle, and the Rams took Jaden Farr, 75 receivers. So again, held on for one pick too long. I blame the white screen more than anything. So Farr wasn't outstanding, but that does mean that Raphael Owens is still on the board for us here. And again, fast and agile. That's why we waited. I'm not expecting a great dev pattern here, but if he is... Ah, so normal dev for Owens. 24th, though, in true value. We got him at 49. That's our first normal dev player of the draft. He has 94 speed, 95 acceleration, 92 kick return. So we just got an elite kick returner here in the second round. 
And hey, if he gets a breakout moment, he could be decent. I don't hate that. Not an amazing pick, but I don't hate it. Our next pick is 25th. We will skip ahead to avoid the white screen of doom. But even if we don't get another hit for the rest of the drafts, or we destroyed this. All right, so on the board, we are towards the end of the second round. What's with the defensive tackle still on the board? Not sure which one. Are the updates implemented worth the upgrade? Uh, so, I mean, like these updates right now, eh, probably not at full price, but it's very tough to say what's going to happen when the uh, patch comes out. Very tough to say what's going to happen once that patch is out. Okay, so late second round picks. Late second round picks. We are looking at Anthony McClendon. Let's take a look at Nathan Anthony. Uh, we're ruling him out. Okay, he's got decent agility, decent strength. We don't need him. Greg McClendon. Was 6'3", tall, and that's it. We're going to rule him out as well. We have better picks to go for now. All right. Pete Rhodes would be a complete shot in the dark. I have no idea how good he actually is. I do know he's pretty strong. Anybody else here in the second round? Dion Griggs. Late second round talent. Decent strength. Nobody I'm like determined to take right now. Here in round two. Yeah, I think uh, if there's a good trade, we can uh, we can trade down again here. Get some picks in the later rounds because I think there might be some decent talent there. So after that miss on wide receiver, maybe not a miss, but not a home run. I think we like to trade down. 2-3 uh, from Cleveland, 2-4-7 from Tampa. I mean, 2-3 is tough to pass up. Got a couple people offering a second and a third, which again is just way too much to pass up. We are just going to have Philly's picks by the end of this. We'll make another deal with Philly. Because like they're the closest one, so we're heavily investing in Philly's demise. And we will go ahead and skip ahead to our next pick here at the end of the second. Let's see what we got. And then our next pick is the seventh pick of the third round. So end of the second. End of the second. Anybody uh, third round projected? Julian Fisher. Julian Fisher looks like, mm, man, he looks like a beast. Whew, I mean, we're going solely off of combine for him. Again, a couple of running backs. I didn't mind. I do like the speed of Ernie Stokes. Albert honestly just has the strength. I don't like him. And then Rutherford. Not a bad secondary option. But he should be available in the end of the third. He should be available in the middle of the third. Again, third rounder. Fisher might be the guy. Or Pete Rhodes is still there. Again, strong as hell. I think we can get some O-line help here. Or we go for Griggs. But we did take a defensive tackle in this draft. We don't really need another one. That good agility, the strength's a bit low though. Newkirk. Not a sold on him anymore after some of the changes to our team. Uh, Monty McDonald. Not bad, I'd rather go for the O-line help. Tony Logan, same thing, go for the O-line help. And then a couple of safeties. Uh, we could trade down again, but to be honest, I like the looks of some of those O-linemen. Hopefully Fisher will still be available. We're going to take a complete shot in the dark here on Pete Rhodes. Hope for the best. Uh, he does have hidden dev, but he's only a 62. <laughs> so go figure. Um, 271 in true value. We got him at 63. I need depth for the O-line. 
There might be some potential there because we can train him up. He has 90 strength. So he's strong, and that's about it. We might as well have just taken a guy off of the tough man or strong man circuit. It's okay. It's not the best, but it's not an outright disaster of a pick. As we have three of the next four picks here in the third round, because my god, we, we own everything. What do we got? He's flexing, right? Could be a good thing. Who knows? Alright, so again, third round. Can look to get Ernie Stokes here in a little bit, because we have these picks. If we were to take Powell, it's not that bad. I don't think we'll take Powell at 23. Knock him off the board. I think no doubt. Oh, no way. The other guy I wanted has gone. Damn. I didn't think he'd go. But he was an early third round pick, so kind of made my bed in terms of taking the old lineman, and now we got a lie in it. So we got Monty McDonald, Tony Logan, Andrew Rice. It looks promising. Uh, let's take the running back. Maxwell, well, it might be a bit early. Might be a bit early. I have to trade down here. Damn, I was really hoping that old lineman would still be on the board. Uh, unfortunately, Pete Peterson is also gone. So we only get so many memes. Uh, I can trade down like three times in a row because we have uh, seven, eight, and ten. Let me double check who I might want here in round three. We're going to take Stokes. Fourth round, fourth round. Anybody that we might want to take here in the third. I don't like the bench press of Will Archer. Get him out of there. Fourth round. We've definitely reached uh, shot in the dark territory here. Outside of McDonald, Logan, basically the safeties. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. Let's just let's just make the picks. Let's take Ernie Stokes a little bit early. Uh, 69 overall running back, normal dev. 92nd in true value. We got him at 71, so nothing incredible for Ernie Stokes, but he's fast. Maybe we can morph him into something. At least he's got the speed for a uh, a receiving back. So 64 catching the. To wait until October 5th for my PS5 to be delivered. Mm. I got really lucky to get my hands on a, a Series X when I did. Screw it. Third round picks. We don't have to uh, wait it out, really. Let's go ahead and take a corner. We'll take Monty McDonald. Again, not bad depth. Like, I don't have anybody else scouted at this rate, so we're going for pure shot in the dark. I had Series X. I sold it for $850. I don't blame you for doing that. Uh, being a streamer, though, for me, it's like, I need this. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have. So, McDonald, not bad depth. 92 speed. He's fast. Good jumping. At an 85, he's 6'2". Like, we're not ending up with, like, 50 overall players, you know? He's, like, one point off of who went second overall. So, we're doing all right. Given the circumstances, we're still doing pretty well. And I really don't even have to trade down right now because, uh, yeah, we've done that a thousand times. Take Andrew Rice, the safety, with this pick. Good depth again. 67 overall, normal dev at 23. More cheap depth for the team, pretty much. Go to the end of the third round. Got another pick coming up soon after this, the beginning of the fourth. Uh, Nathan Anthony was still on the board. I ruled him out, though. All he has is the agility... Well, well, shit, actually, so he doesn't have the acceleration or the speed, but he has the acceleration, agility, and strength. He actually could still be a good slot option. And then Jimmy Castillo, I really didn't like at all as a slot option. Like, the intangibles might be good, but everything else looks like trash. And then Bernard Powell was a... Actually, Bernard Powell... I don't know how crazy I want to go with drafting receivers, but... Here we are. 
Uh, so Rutherford would be talking third, fourth round. Fry would be talking about fifth round. Rutherford, fast as hell. Could get another, another option. Talking fourth round, fourth round, fourth round. We could take the risk with one of those two receivers. Probably fifth roundish for Santiago. Fourth round there. Just about. Well, in terms of uh, taking the risk with anybody, have to trade down or just go for it. We'll go for it with Nathan Anthony out of Miami. 71 overall receiver. 57th in true value. We got up at 94. Doesn't have great dev, but hey. Decent receiver as a depth option. Maybe tuck him away on the practice squad. And we got another choice here. We don't have another pick until the end of the fourth round. So we got to make this one count. Rutherford's not bad. Powell. Decent speed and agility. Meander. Has nothing. He's got the strength. That's about it. Forbes. Has speed. That's about it. And then Fletcher has some well round. Mid-second round talent, apparently. So, decent speed and agility. Great speed, man, agility, but decent strength. I'd probably rather go for Fletcher. So, running back, a wide receiver. Santiago's looking like fifth round. Anybody that might go in the fourth round. Perryman on the defensive line. Decent agility and speed. Not that great a strength, though. And then a complete shot in the dark on any of those linebackers. I do like the looks of Adam Stevens. Or Sheed. I really don't need any other options in the secondary. Brought the bird at 23. Don't really need another wide out. We've taken three already, but Fletcher does have that crazy good speed. Or we take a risk on one of these younger linebackers who I'm hoping will still be there. Let's uh let's go for Rutherford. I'm intrigued by Fletcher. 72 overall. Normal dev, but we get another receiver who's just fast as hell. Not a good kick returner, but we can teach him to catch a football. I mean 82 catching. You know, situational Fletcher just tell him to sprint down the field as fast as he can. That might work out well. End of the fourth round. Let's see who's left. So again, it kind of sucks that we have shots in the dark, but we made it work at the top of this draft. So, end of the fourth round here. Nobody there. Fifth round. We got one of those linebackers left, and it's Sheed. It's kind of what I was hoping would be there. How good Sheed? Ah, 65. 65. 21 years old, normal dev. Decent depth. 87 speed, 88 acceleration. Not bad. But depth and nothing more. Hey, look, we're not getting white screened anymore. So we haven't been able to kill it to like rounds three and four, but we're still getting good depth. All right, anybody in the early stages of the fourth round here? Just take a risk with. Otherwise, we have the last pick of the fourth round, and we can just kind of trade down again, maybe. One of the two safeties. So, Levi Ware. 6'1", great jumping. Eh. Carlos Melton. 6'2", safety. You ran under a 4'5". Let's go for uh, let's go for Carlos Melton. More depth. 
66 overall at 22. I am right back on the clock. Cool. Well, not going to bother trading down anymore. Let's take Levi Ware as well. He was a 65. Wasn't going to do that well regardless. Cool. I'm still very happy with this draft, though. It was nice to not have the pressure of thinking my EA play trial was going to expire as well. It was pretty nice. All right, end of the fifth round. What do we got? Best guess here. So, Adrian Bullard. Decent speed and power. Actually, let's just go at this point to all positions. And uh, sort this out. Might have to double check some players. Still hoping for uh, a late round steal to really put a cap on what's been a good draft. I think Bullard, pretty much no matter what, is the pick here, though. I mean, it's Bullard, it's Hill. We have two picks left in the seventh, so we'll see who's left. Hill would be best guess. Not really digging it. He's got good speed for a linebacker. Let's take Adrian Bullard. Yeah, 69 rated power back. 91st in true talent. 90 speed. 83 strength. Not bad. Well rounded. So, no more trading up. No more trading down. No more getting blinded by the light. Make our final two picks. Here in the seventh round, who is left on our board? Wow, that's it, huh? So, uh, Jonathan Mason, I mean, fifth round is an option. He's 21. He's just not that fast. This is all that's left. Wyrick, third in strength for linebacker. Eh. I like Truman a lot more. He was first in strength for linebackers. He's in the middle. Uh, Temple. It's going to be a no. Dante Lynch. Not bad. Middleton. Also not bad. I mean, I feel like taking Mason's the right idea because he was projected to be a late fifth rounder. So there might still be something there. Nope, there wasn't. <laughs> he was. That was our worst pick of the draft. Probably going to regret not taking the QB. We'll see if he's still on the board. Final pick of the draft. Is that quarterback available or not? What do we got? Hey, he's there. Cool. We might as well take him. So. I like Truman a lot. Strong, good agility. Maybe I should have taken him. I was really hoping that other guy would be better. Or we get Slater, who, honestly, at 23, it's not as if he was even stupidly fast for a quarterback, you know? Oh, good! I mean, it's for down you. to Slater. Or Lynch. Joe, I don't really care about mud either, so I hear you. Really don't think Addison Slater is going to be much. Fumble though boy. will be man was a an undrafted boy. free agent, so no matter what, I should be able to get one of them. Turtle Tamer, thank you for the 33 months, buddy. 33 months. Let's go for uh, Addison Slater. Why not? He was hot garbage. Absolute hot garbage. So that ends a marathon of a draft. Let's take a look at who we missed out on. But again, I I love how that draft went for us. McKay, Goldsberry, Harper, Todd, Nance. And then with Owens is where it started to downfall. But for the most part, again, we did very well. So, round one. Number one overall pick was Noel. Oh, boy. Mm. That is a huge swing and miss for the Raiders. Craig Lucas is a huge swing and a miss for the Giants. No wonder why we thought this might be a horrible draft. Uh, Warren Peters, 
okay for Jacksonville. Javante Cameron. Okay, so Javante Cameron at safety is a monster. A monster. But again, we didn't need we couldn't prioritize the safety. He's 6-4. Hidden dev. With 93 speed at 6-4. Nuts, man. Nuts. Uh, Caleb McClellan, who we knew would probably be pretty good, is hidden dev. 76 rated. Top quarterback, Johnny Powell. Yeah, 74, hidden dev. He's not happy about going to the Jets. Uh, Alfonso Landry. Only normal dev. 77 rated. This is the plus one, but only normal dev. That's rough. Eric Olson. Hidden dev for him at 23, a 70. Right now, I feel the same way about the uh, about the scouting. Uh, Floyd Harper, 76, normal. Cole Hughes, 74, hidden dev, not bad for the Bills. Quigley, not bad, hidden dev as well. We knew he'd be good. And then Craig Denny, normal dev at 21, rough pick. Chase Goldman. Okay, so Goldman, yeah, Goldman would have been the guy to take on the defensive line, but we got somebody good as well. So Goldman went. Uh, Bellamy, one of the top corners, hidden dev for him as well, not bad. Marquise Allen, not bad at wideout. Evan Griffith, not bad at corner. And then that's when we took Jason McKay. So we did well to still get someone like Jason McKay, even though uh, Goldman was gone. And then Austin Morris would have been a good pick too. So we really couldn't have gone wrong at defensive end. Uh, Brandon Cook, hidden dev for him. Cooper, normal dev, rough pick for the Saints. Otis Bernard, rough pick for the Texans. Donovan Moon, rough pick for Washington. Man, this was really hit or miss. Ryan Harvey, rough pick for the Broncos. This makes our draft that much better. Deontay Brooks, decent pick for the Steelers. Uh, Terrell Wall was a good linebacker. Normal dev, rough. Falcons have had a rough day. Harris, hidden dev for the Cowboys. And then Eric Feliz. Ah. 77 hidden dev at 22. In response, though, we got 76 hidden dev Reggie Goldsberry. So we didn't do that poorly. And we got a great uh, pick package to not go in that direction. Then, of course, we also took Harper. Austin Rogers, normal dev for the Chiefs. Daryl Riddick, hidden dev for the Eagles. And then Barker, normal dev, but a really high boosted overall there. He's only a 73. Round two, let's look for the familiar names. Devin Mooney was the top quarterback, and he was trash. Thank God we didn't do that. Uh, we were looking at Junior Duval. He was the top running back. Not bad. 73 hidden at 21. We weren't looking at Stanton, I don't believe. Joe Quick was the top tight end. Trash, fortunately. Andrew Galindo went to the Browns. Ooh. He was good. Hidden dev at 21 out of Miami. 76 rated. Browns with a steal and a half getting Galindo. I just wasn't sure. I was really hit or miss with the combine results. I don't know if we were looking at Pryor. Tony Starks to Philly. Hidden Dev for Iron Man. Jalen Cook, the safety. Hidden Dev. This was a stacked draft, but also a draft you could get in a lot of trouble with. Anthony Geddes was somebody I wanted. Just couldn't get him. We took Cameron Todd instead. And Nance. Brandon Woods, hidden dev for him. What about Grissom? We had looked at him too. This was really, pretty much all of the players, for the most part, that we were saying, hey, if we could get this guy, it would be good. It turned out to be good. We didn't get Jaden Farr, though. Normal dev. Would have liked him still, but I don't feel as bad. So then we got Raphael Owens, who was also normal dev. Just one point worse. So not bad. Uh, who else were we looking at? Manu Corona. Roman McFarland. JD Cherry, how good was he? Normal dev. Good thing we avoided him. Dotson Fox. Pete Peterson. The meme would have been so nice. 
But he went off the board. I mean, if we didn't get Roquan Smith, I might have gone for him. But Pete Peterson ended up being pretty good. Pete Rhodes was kind of a miss. Cause Cliff, ooh, Cliff Payton was on the board. Wow, big miss for me there, though. We got Pete Rhodes. I was okay with it because he has a dev pattern, but the Bengals did me over twice. Linebacker and O-line. Bastards. Uh, Davenport, steal and a half. Third round, first pick, Davenport to the Raiders. And Jamal Walls at safety, great pick for the Giants. Julian Fisher, 76 normal dev in the third round. Greg, 72 normal dev in the third round. Stokes wasn't that good. Tucker, Newkirk, Greg McClendon, not that great. So hey, we uh, we hit the mark in some regards, and in others we missed. That's the name of the game with the draft, but for a team that just won the Super Bowl, I mean, we're better. We're better than we were already. 75 guard to the Bills in round four. 73 running back to the Packers. Hidden Dev 73 running back to the Packers. Wow. Huge steal. Huge steal for Green Bay. Got some normal Dev guys that aren't that bad. What a steal for Green Bay. Looking at some of the wideouts that we ended up not going for. What about round five? Anybody good? Harlan Claxton. Ah, uh, Joe. No, I stream everything, basically. Pretty much every sports game. <laughs> Joe Santiago. Looked at him a couple times. Didn't uh, didn't reach quick enough. 70 overall, hidden dev in round five. So, it is nice to see that you can have some solid draft steals this year still. I wonder if that'll maintain after the scouting. Forbes. 70 hidden dev at 22. Sixth round pick. Man, the football team blew some of their early picks, but they made up for it late. There were some damn good steals in that draft. It's just we didn't have the information for later on. But we were all in with who we needed, at least at the time, in terms of positions. So there is, uh, there is a lot that we need to sort out for this team. A lot as I have lost my connection to the server, apparently. There we go. There it is. Are they doing server maintenance or something? Am I going to outright get kicked? I might. Let's see if I can load back into it. I feel like it crashed after our last draft, too. And then, yeah, we got hard locked on the menu. Still some, still some tech issues that they could sort out, probably. Probably, maybe. All right. So, like I said, we still have the team that needs to be sorted. But right now, without depth players, we look like this. Mac Jones, quarterback. Kareem Hunt, Damian Harris at running back. Tebow at fullback. Gallup, Baldwin, Cooper, Harper, Owens, and Fletcher. Anthony as well at wide receiver. Hunter Henry and Kyle Pitts at tight end. O-line's Isaiah Wynn on Wenu with Sanders as a depth option. David Andrews, Trent Brown. Cameron Todd behind him as a depth option. And Wills Jr. Pete Rhodes isn't that bad either. Winovich and Nassib on the D-line with Oscar Aiken, Jason McKay. Defensive tackle Barmore and Goldsberry. Very nice indeed. Linebackers, Koromoa, Roquan Smith, Hightower, Dalton, Uche, and Joyner. Corners, Jackson, Jones, Newsom, Grady Williams. And at safety, Harrison, Spillman, and Ronnie Nance leading the way. There is a lot that we have to sort out. And draft picks. We have our first, Arizona's, Phillies, Kansas City's, one second, three thirds, two fourths, a fifth, two sixths, and a seventh. This team is already this strong, and we have four first round picks heading into next year. 
It is gross what we were able to do with this team in just a short amount of time.